Let's look at graphing a piecewise defined function. Problem type number two on section 1.6 and 1.7 homework. Let me start. Okay, so suppose that the function f is defined for all real numbers as follows. I see two pieces. The first piece is just a line because it's in y equals mx plus b form, right? It's negative 2x plus 3. So we're looking at a slope of negative 2, so it's going to go down from left to right. Uh, but we're going to use this one if x is smaller than 2. And we're going to use the bottom piece, which is x minus 3, if x is bigger than or equal to 2. So I got my, because I can never graph these um, without doing some work. I'm going to go ahead and um, connect my notepad over here so that I can do the work here, okay? So I always do it in two steps. Um, I wish I can write on this. Okay, but you know what? Let me copy this. f of x equals um, two functions, negative 2x plus 3 if x is less than 2 and x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 2. Um, let me go ahead and do the top piece first, okay? Let's do this one first. So I will make sure to pick all the x values that are smaller than 2, but I will also pick x value of 2 and will plot an open circle there. And to find their y values, I will plug in the x values in there, okay, into that function. So here's my x, y table. Like I said, I will put the 2, but I will, uh, when I, when, once I get the, uh, the y value, you know what, let's find it. Plug in 2 into that top piece. That is negative 4 plus 3, negative 1. I will plot an open circle at negative 2, negative 1. And I am plotting an open circle because it said x is less than 2. If it had less than or equal to 2, then I would plot it at closed circle. But let me go and pick more. <laughs> let me pick more x values <laughs> that are smaller than 2. There is 1 and there is 0 and that should be enough. Okay, that's enough. We got three numbers. So if I plug in one, I'm sorry, my, my son is so happy looking at something. All right, if I do negative two pl plus three, that is one. And I'm just going to plot a regular point at one, one. You know what, let me go ahead and line them up. But this one is not going to be an open circle. It's just going to be a regular point. And my last one will be at negative two, zero, I plug in 0, and that comes out to be, oh, just 3, right? Just 3. So I will plot a point at 0, 3. So let me go ahead and graph the first piece by plotting these three points, making sure that I plot an open circle at negative 2, negative 1, or uh, negative 2, negative 1. Where are the tools? What? I was looking at an example. That is silly. Okay, I'm going to have to click on start and really get the real problem again. And they get, <laughs> okay. But you know, that's what I'm going to do for every single problem. And my method may take longer time, but you know what? Hey, that's what I do. All right, let me start all over again. F of X equals, the function is to take negative of the X. So if it's, you know, whatever the X is, switch the sign to opposite plus 2, and we're going to use that piece when x is smaller than or equal to 1. And the bottom piece is a little fancier. We're going to first multiply by 5 and then subtract 2 if x is bigger than 1. So let me go ahead and take care of the top piece first, okay? So top says just use the x values that are less than or equal to 1 and then plug it in there. So we have to be careful because we have a negative, right? X and Y values. And Ys are going to be negative X plus two. That's the rule that I'm going to plug in. I will start always, I think I should stress this, always plot these, these important points. 
Okay, that number one is where the top piece stops and where the bottom piece starts. So you always need to plug in that number, okay? Alrighty. Um, so I will use one and I need to go smaller. I'll go zero and I may do just one more, negative one. I pick these x values that are smaller than one because that if x is less than or equal to one. Let's plug in everything. Um, um, if I plug in 1 into this function, I will get negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. So I will plot on, oh, oh got to be careful. I have to read very careful. Look at the symbol for me. It's less than or equal to. So should that be open or closed circle? This one should be a closed circle. Plot a closed circle at 1, 1. So, oh, whoopsie, I literally wrote down 1, 1. 1, 1. And then what you need to do is uh, plot another point. So let's find it. Negative 0 plus 2 is simply 2. So just plot a regular point 0, 2. I think the way they did this, you don't really need a third point. So let me go ahead and try these two. I'm going to go ahead and cl click on this, this tool. And close circle at 1. Let me zoom in. I don't think I can zoom in. I'm sorry. 1, 1. And then I will pick a uh, this line tool. I see uh, this one is going from one point to another. Um, so I'll click on this one. And then I will start at this point. And then the next point that I need to go to is 0, 2, right? So 0, 2 is up there. And I will click on it and I'll let go. I am done graphing the top piece. I don't even, I never even needed to do this one, so I'll just delete that, okay? Um, because if you want to draw a unique straight line, you just need one point to start and the other point for direction, right? Let's go ahead and do the second piece. And if you are wondering, when did you teach this? I never taught this in synchronous Zoom meeting, remember? I went over this in the asynchronous video lesson so if you wanted to look up some of those videos i have a couple more examples there okay now i must put this number one okay but they said bigger than one so what's bigger than one two um y is 5x minus two so let me plug in one in here five times one minus two is three i will plot and look it says greater than there's no bar underneath it so you must plot an open circle open circle at one three and let's look at the other one if i plug in two into this function this is 10 minus two and 10 minus two is eight i will just plot a regular point at two eight and that should be two points it's just enough for us to sketch a straight line. So let me plot, click on open circle and plot it at one to the right of three. And then I will click on this tool. I will pick that as my starting point. I will go two eight after that, two to the right and up eight. That is two eight and I'll let click and I'll let go. And that is how I will do this. So let me go ahead and, oh, the next question they're asking, is this function continuous? No, it's not because I cannot draw this entire graph with, it, with without lifting my pencil at x equals 1. You see there is a big jump right there. So this is not continuous. I am done with this question. Let me click on check. Yay! If you got enough, then you should try on your own. But I'm going to maybe try two more. They take a little bit longer time, but they're good problems. I'll try two more if you want to keep on watching, okay? All right, next one. Let me go down and write the function down. You see how I'm doing this very slowly? Because you know, Alex will send you right back one if you miss it by a silly mistake. So the first function is neg. This looks a lot similar to what I just did. Well, that's okay. If x is less than 1 it's okay and the bottom one is 2x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1 so let me start with the top piece okay um 
So x and y, and always use the number, okay? In the middle, the one is shared in uh, the, both the top piece and the bottom piece, right? So you always need to plot that um, one, and because it says smaller than one, I need to, it says smaller than one, I need to go zero, okay? And I learned that I only need two points in Alex, so I'm just gonna do two points. So plug in the x values into... Lina, Lina, can you wait? Plug in the neg a one into this function, I'll get negative one plus four, which is positive three. What kind of circle should I plot at one three? One three is going to be on... Let me hold my baby real quick. All right, little girl, let's do some piecewise function. Um, we're going to plot an open circle. This may be my last one. Um, at 1, 3, okay? Because it's just x is less than 1. If it was less than or equal to 1, then we, we could have plotted a closed circle. Let's do the next one. Negative 0 plus 4 is simply 4. So the next point that I will use is 0, 4. Let me do that piece first, and then we'll come back and do the bottom piece together, okay? So, um, open circle at 1, 3, and then I will use the, this tool to start at 1, 3, and then I will tell my graph to go to 0, 4. Alrighty, that's looking good. Let's go to the, uh, to the second equation, okay? Second equation, um, the domain is if x is greater than or equal to 1, double it and add 1. That's what they want you to do. Double it and add 1. So x and y, the first x value I must use is 1. And the next x value must be just bigger than 1. So I'll go with 2. y is 2x plus 1. So if I plug in 1, I will get 2 times 1 plus 1, which is 3. Okay, next, oh well, hold on. 1, 3, what kind of circle should it be? Because it says greater than or equal to, we must plot a closed circle at 1, 3. Okay, next let's plug in 2. 2 times 2 plus 1. That's going to be 5, so the direction is going to be 2 to 2, 5. So let me go to my computer and plot a closed circle at 1, 3. Oh, hello! When I plot 1, 3, it sits right on top of that... Hold on a second. It sits right on top of that open circle. All right, from there, I will go to 2, 5. Look at that! You see how this function is actually continuous because I can graph this V-shaped function without lifting my pencil. So I'm going to say, is the function continuous? Yes. Now, I just showed you two examples in this video. If you would like to see more, just, you know, reach out to me and let me know. But I think you got an idea. Because the, it's all right. And my baby's fussing a little bit. So the next one is very similar. So I'll come back and do the other topic too, okay?